Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house, Justin's house. In this video, I've got a quick one and it has to do with knowledge. Yes, I'm showing you a new feature that has to do with knowledge articles in Tokyo. And you know what? On the screen behind me, I've got Tokyo up, but I want to start with San Diego. If you were using this new interceptor, this new way to come in and create your knowledge article, you can use something that we call a template. So here I am in the IT knowledge base. I'm using the how-to template. And you may have noticed that there's some like preview text around the different sections within the knowledge article. So here looks like some more MIPSUM, you know, standard filler text nonsense um, that shows kind of what's going on. So what's changed in Tokyo is you now have control over what shows here. So let me show you what that looks like. If I'm looking at the how-to article template, in the introduction section, we have a new field now for the preview text. This wasn't in San Diego. This is unique to Tokyo. So I can come in here and put some preview text in there rather than it being that gobbledygook that doesn't make any sense and give people more of a sense of what they should be putting there. So here on the instructions, I've made up some instructions that'll show up in the preview text there on the screen when we go to that interceptor to create the knowledge article from a template. So let's do that real quick. Let's go to knowledge articles and I'm gonna use this create new button right there that went away as soon as I clicked on my, my screen decorator, but there's create new. I'll click on that and that'll take me to that same page where I can go down to IT and say that I want a how-to article. And now I have a nice version of what that preview is that's unique to this article, unique to my organization, unique to what the, someone's coming here trying to create a knowledge article for. So great, great new feature. I'll follow all the way through so you can see that this isn't going to clutter the knowledge article. You're not going to create more work for the person who's using the template to then come in and wipe out or clean out the, uh, the filler text or the preview text that showed in that previous screen. So it's there, helps them know what that article is going to look and feel like, but then they get their blank canvas with the template as they need to create that knowledge article. That's it. Nice and simple on this one. A nice new feature in Tokyo preview text on knowledge articles. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in having a better knowledge base. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.